Hi and salam sejahtera. Welcome to my channel, Learn Malay Language and Culture. In today's lesson, we are going to learn on how to pronounce singular nouns and plural nouns in Malay. There are many forms of plural nouns in Malay, but in this lesson, we are going to learn the three forms of plural nouns. So let us start. The most common plural nouns is when the singular nouns is duplicated into a plural nouns. For example, a child in Malay is pronounced as Ana, and children in Malay are pronounced as Ana Ana, Ana and Ana Ana. The second example is book. A single book in Malay is pronounced as buku, buku. But when you have more than one book, it will become buku, 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 book and buku, buku. The next example is we have a pen. A single pen in Malay is also pronounced as pen, pen. But if you have more than one pen, or you have pens in Malay, we call it as pen, 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 and pen, pen. But what happens if the singular nouns consist of two words, for example, like handbag and swimsuit? If the singular nouns is consist of two words and we want to make it as a plural nouns, what we need to do is to duplicate the first word only. For example, handbag in Malay is pronounced as bag tangan. Bag tangan. Bag means bag and tangan means hand. So bag tangan means handbag. If you have more than one handbag or you have handbags in Malay, we say Back, back, tangan. Back, back, tangan. The next example is swimsuit. In Malay, swimsuit is pronounced as baju renang. Baju renang. Baju means suit and renang means swim. Baju renang, swimsuit. If you have more than one swimsuit or you have swimsuits in Malay, you say baju, baju, renang. Baju, baju, renang. The third example is your watch. Watch in Malay is pronounced as jam tangan. Jam tangan. Jam in Malay is watch and tangan means hand. Jam tangan means watch. If you have more than one watch, it will become jam, jam, tangan. Jam, jam, tangan. Finish with the second forms of plural nouns. Now, let us go to the last form of plural nouns in today's lesson. In Malay, there are certain singular nouns which are already in a duplicated form. So, in this case, how are we going to make the singular nouns becoming a plural nouns? For example, butterfly in Malay is pronounced as rama rama, rama rama, and sheep in Malay is pronounced as Biri biri, biri biri. What happen if we have more than one butterfly? Are we going to pronounce as rama 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 rama? Rama 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 rama. Definitely not. In this case, to identify whether the nouns is singular nouns or plural nouns, we need to look at the context of the phrase. For example, Ali has a butterfly. In Malay, we say. Ali ada seekor rama-rama. Ali ada seekor rama-rama. Ali is a name of a person. Ada means has. Se indicating one. Ekor is the measure word for animal. And rama-rama means butterfly. So, Ali ada seekor rama-rama means Ali has a butterfly. But what if Ali has more than one butterfly? If Ali has more than one butterfly, we can say that Ali has many butterflies or in Malay, Ali ada banyak rama-rama. Ali ada banyak rama-rama. Ali is the name of a person. Ada means has. Banyak means many. And rama-rama means butterfly. So, when you say that Ali ada banyak rama-rama, means Ali has many butterflies. Which in this context, the nouns rama-rama is in the plural form. The second example is sheep 
or in Malay we call it as biri 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 my grandfather raised a sheep in Malay we say atuk saya membela seekor biri biri atuk means grandfather saya in this context means my membela means to raise se indicating one and eko is the measure word for animal and biri biri means sheep so atuk saya membela seekor biri biri means my grandfather raised a sheep if my grandfather raised two or more sheep in his farm then we can say my grandfather raised a lot of sheep in his farm or in malay we say atuk saya membela banyak biri-biri di ladangnya atuk means grandfather saya in this context means my membela means to raise banyak means many or a lot biri-biri means sheep di means in ladang means farm and the suffix nya indicating that the farm is belonging to my grandfather atuk saya membela banyak biri-biri di ladangnya or in english we say my grandfather raised a lot of sheep in his farm that is all the three forms of singular and plural nouns in malay if you love this video kindly click on the like button subscribe to this channel and kindly share the link with your friends on our next lesson i will be sharing with you guys on how to pronounce times in malay with that thank you for watching this video see you next time terima kasih